Saints, first win of the season for Kelly. They were uh, victorious by quite a margin against Dundee United this afternoon. Here's Cairdine. Mark for Dundee United now and if Kelly had delivered performances rather than results so far this season then they certainly got both this afternoon a first win of the season thanks to first goals of the season from two sharp clinical forwards and Eamon Brophy and Nicky Kibamba who got two and an absolutely sublime effort from substitute Rory McKenzie which must make it surely onto the end of term list for goal of the season a powerful Kabamba header and a nice Brophy strike had Kelly cruising by half time United had Plenty of chances to score either side of the interval, but failed to capitalise despite lots of pressure. A bad error from Mark Connolly at the back for them, gifted Kabamba his second and Kilmarnock's third. Then the goal scorer helped provide one when he was part of a breakaway involving Mitch Pinnock and Greg Kilty, which was given the most exquisite finish when Mackenzie, with a lob wedge of a right foot, chipped the ball into the top right-hand corner. Great goal, great Kelly performance. Kilmarnock 4, Dundee United 0. Convincing wing, Alec Dyer there, he's very calm, isn't he? He's not getting too carried away after that <laughs> it's victory. Cool, calm, collected, isn't he? You know, I think he, and that's that's what I'm talking about, a, a way a manager holds himself. You know, if it's a disappointing result, you know, I think there's, it's important that you, you try and keep as much in the dressing room as you possibly can. You know, what happens in the dressing room, what you say to the players should stay in the dressing room and, and, and in that group. Uh, but he does, he holds himself well, you know, but the demands he puts on the group of players he's got, and like you say, performance-wise, they've, they've, they've asked the question, obviously, the, the draw against Celtic, but they, they should probably have a few more points on the, on the board. But today, four goals. Oh, it's, it's, you know what I mean? It's a fantastic result. So, again, build on that, you know, a nice little break and then go into the next. Calm Davidson will be relieved. Good evening and welcome to the highlight of Saturday Night Telly. Scottish football back up and running. Long may it continue. One day, social distancing will be a thing of the past. Until that day, Chris Ewolumo and Neil McCann get a sofa each. A decent return to the Premiership for Dundee United, fifth in the table. The Tangerines this afternoon away to a Kilmarnock side, second bottom of the Premiership, and still searching for their first win of the season. Commentary comes from Paul Mitchell. Well, come on, I make three changes from the side that lost at Ibrox, Kilty, Kabamba, and there's a debut for Isbin Rossi, McGowan, Hamstruck, and Power, who's injured, are out. Dundee United, far simpler. They lost against Celtic last time out, but it's same again for manager Mickey Mellon. His side played well. Connolly. Almost closed down by Kilty. Waters to Kabamba. He's already been in the wars. His nose has been. Chris Burke already three goals this term. Always a danger drifting in from that right hand side. Waters looks for movement. Gets it from Kilty. Finish. There was uh, there was a lot of good finishes from Kamarnet, but defensively for for Dundee United it was poor. You know, you mm -hmm. see with uh, Brophy's goal, he's quick to re he's the one that's you know reacting first. Connolly's ball watching the one uh, Kabamba's second goal, poor defending from Connolly from the get go. But uh, you know, Kamarnik are in a better place now. Malumbu's in, two strikers up top. That well, they play Malumbu. Well, they've got lots. He absolutely of loves Kamarnik, doesn't he? Yeah, but they've got <laughs> but they've got lots of combinations to you know to yeah. play now. You've got you know good midfield. You've got Power, Dicker, Tishbola, mm -hmm. Malumbu now. You've got up top, you've got Brophy and Kabamba, whereas before, even last year, when they lost Jones and uh, and Malumbu, they were isolated up the top. Mm -hmm. Kabamba's come in as a good option. So they're starting to piece together you know, a team that could, could uh, go and challenge again at the top. Time for my favourite moment of, of this weekend, Rory McKenzie's goal. Dear me. Sensational. Is outrageous, is it not? It is absolutely sensational. He'll perhaps keep talking about this as much as you talk about an over... Uh, Kabamba and um, out wide, and I think it was Pinnock that put the ball across. Absolutely oh, it's just tremendous. So cheeky, isn't it? Richard? Just finishes through. Yeah, it's, it's you know just the kind of little flick of the foot, and everyone's expecting him to put his foot through that and hit it as hard as he can. And <laughs> just, I mean, the goalie is just—he's I mean, a big guy as well, the goalie, but he's just not ready for that kind of that level of, of quality. Really. Yeah, United have had a lot of plaudits early on in the season. Is this a wee wake-up call for them? Well, I think Mickey Mellon's, you know, he, he's spot on to a certain extent. You know, crucial moments, they were they were uh, asleep and they've been punished with, uh, you know, Kamarnock being on top of their game. Defensively, they've got to make sure that they continue to do what they've been doing so far, which is not giving teams any opportunities. And if they do that, 
then they'll you know they'll be in a good shout to get into the top six done United. Okay, let's move on. 